just kind of, you know, start with uh, senior day uh, Saturday against the Carnot Word. You guys get a nice little tune-up. You win that game. You know, how how how'd the team feel in that game before heading to Katie? Um, I just feel like we need to take care of that game. We went down to UCA a couple weeks ago. Thought we had that win and let one slip away. So. Reggie! Sorry. From now on, <laughs> we want to make sure we go down and take care of business. <laughs> Thank you, Coach. Welcome, Coach. How's it going? <laughs> All right. Okay, so um, now let's talk a little bit, you know, about Katie. You guys uh, are, well, first of the excitement of getting a second seed. SFA beat Sam Houston on the road. You know, what, what was the reaction when you guys heard you get the second seed on the South Carolina? Um, to be honest, we wasn't really focused on it. We knew we had to go down to Katy and win as many games as we had to. So that was our focus going into that night, actually. So um, we found out it was the second seed. One less game we had to play, but we're still focused on getting those two games. Absolutely. So you go straight to the semifinal in the, in the Southland tournament. And it uh, looks like you might play Sam Houston or if there's an upset, whoever in the semifinal. But you know, when you don't play you know, three games, you get a three game bye. Mm -hmm. Kind of what does it look like for you? How do you guys practice? Or to, you know, be off for three games and then play immediately in the um, We really just focus on going to every game, trying to be the best version of ourselves. We feel like if we come out and do what we do best, that the rest will take care of itself. Like, we don't try to come out and be a different team depending on the game. We try to come out and be the same team every game, so hopefully the results stay the same. I can take a half step in. Yeah. Um, okay, so someone that's uh, first Southland tournament was going to be last year. With, with that getting canceled and everything, how hungry are you in particular to get down there and get some postseason games under your belt? Oh, uh, we just want to play. Like we didn't even get a chance to play last year. We got down there, we got up to the arena and get a chance to go in. So um, we just want to get a chance to play this year. That's all we want. Um, of course, yeah, we're hungry. We, we felt like we could do it last year, so we have to wait a whole another year to do it. But we're here again, so it doesn't get any better than this. It's March. You know, it's time to win. Like. I want to go home. Uh, yeah, uh, and then for for senior day, as Max mentioned, uh, five of you, a pretty big and important senior class. What was the emotions of uh, you there with your family? I saw someone little in your family My nephew. wearing some Jordans, by the way, that was very <laughs> nice, I noticed. Uh, so what was that emotion like uh, with your family there and then uh, fellow seniors as well? Um, I feel like it was just like a, a, a loving moment. Like, it's been four years for me, so um, having it all come to I guess you could say having it all come to one place at one time, like for me, it was just like, I just wanted to embrace it. And I didn't want it to overlook the moment. I wanted to embrace the moment. And as far as the, the standard, this is uh, five people that have uh, really kind of elevated ACU to a whole new level. I know when you came in, it was after the tournament run and everything. Yes, so they've uh, already kind of elevated to a, a level in some sense, but how much uh, legacy do you want to leave in kind of bringing ACU to that level where heading into the WAC, they're a pretty dominant program? Um, for me, it's all about winning. So I, I, I just want to be known as a winner. So I just want to win everywhere I go. So um, I just want to win as many games as possible, if, if that makes sense. I feel like if you win, it brings attention. Like the more you win, the more people want to see you play. It just comes full circle. So. Uh, coach is just telling us going the game, uh, respecting Carnival Word, because uh, they have our respect from the first time we played them. So we always just really focused and dialed in on that game, uh, try to get the dub with that one. Then everybody started worrying about the next game after that. So everybody was kind of emotional about seeing night, but it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So same day SFA goes and beats Sam Houston on the road, gives you guys a second seed on the South tournament, which means you get a triple bye. Was there any reaction for you on that? Uh, it didn't really matter to me. I don't care who we play. The same result. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So now you know you get a you get a triple bye, and you play you know whoever all the way straight into the semifinal. How uh, do you guys prepare to you know take three games off? How do you you know prepare to just kind of face? You don't know what team you're going to face. So how do you prepare for that kind of situation? Uh, really, just everybody get healthy, then. Just go from there. Just really, just be us. We be us. It, it, we'll take care of business from there. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And so, uh, you know, really looking at the schedule, it's kind of crazy. Zach just told us that you go, uh, you know, winning, winning the South tournament, you go straight to, you know, Indiana. Yeah. So does the uh, schedule get all kind of, you know, jumbled up in your head? Does it kind of give you something to think about, or are you not worried about it at all? 
Nah, I mean, that's what I love to do. So it's like a big AAU tournament for me. So I just like to hoop. So I, it is what it is. Starters, how you feeling? Health-wise right now. Uh, I'm, I'm getting getting back to me. We ain't got an X-ray this morning. They saw nothing, so kind of happy about that. So I should be back to play Friday, probably soon. So Friday, well. yeah. Okay. Uh, let's talk about Friday then. So uh, Cynthia's ready coming in. Didn't get a chance to play last year. How excited are you in particular to get some postseason games in your belt? Just another game, really. To be honest. <laughs> Go in, be me, do what we can do to uh, help the team win. So, uh, what is the uh, kind of pregame going to be like before Friday, Wednesday, Thursday? You going to watch the other games? How do you plan on scouting? Um, pretty sure we'll just we'll find out who we end up playing. Um, watch some clips from the previous game from when we played them then. Prepare, wake up the next day, then go play. And then how was senior day for you? Uh, I mean, I feel like my teammates and my coaches took care of me because my family couldn't be here. So it, it, felt, it felt good, though, to at least be able to make it to senior day because some people don't even get to have that. And then to be a senior with four other guys that have been with the program for a while, kind of uh, – catapulting ACU into a whole other level. Three straight 20-win seasons. How proud are you of what this program has become? Um, I feel like our, how much work we put in goes to show, like, the record and everything. Like, we work hard, like, in practice, outside of practice in the weight room, like, in the classroom, too. So I just feel like ACU deserve it. We deserve it, so. So, you know, just kind of starting out after a tough loss to Central Arkansas, you come in. Saturday play uh, Carnot Word, nice tune-up game, won that one pretty soundly. How, how did you like about how the team looked? Yeah, first of all, again, like we said last week, give all the credit to Central Arkansas. They played really well down there. We did not play our best basketball. There's no secret in that, but we're truth tellers around here. Uh, we don't make excuses. We hold each other accountable. We looked at the film and, and we moved on. You know, we had obviously a tough game uh, at SFA right after that. And then you have um, Incarnate Word here at home. And so our guys got back to who they are. Uh, we're not big fans around here of losing consecutive games in a row. Um, we didn't have to say much to our guys. Uh, our guys understood. Um, uh, what was ahead of them. And again, you guys have been around us a long, long time. It's trust the process around here. It's just about us and getting better. And our guys, we've been that way all year. We had great leadership in our locker room. I wasn't concerned, you know, one bit. We laid one egg in, uh, what, what do we play, 25, 26 games, you know? So we have, we, we played one bad. So that's a credit to these guys in the locker room uh, on the year that they've taken us on and, and um, was real excited about how they finished it. Absolutely, absolutely. And in the same day, you know, uh, SFA goes on the road, beats Sam Houston, gives you guys a Second seed, a triple bye, you know, what's your You know what, I really didn't have a reaction, to be quite honest with you. I, I didn't care, you know, if it was second seed or third seed. Our guys want to play. We got to we got to Katie last year, um, and I don't know if you guys know the backstory on this, but, uh, you know, obviously the games get canceled. We can't we can't play, and we drove the bus to Katie. We'd worked all year to get to the Merrill Center, and we drove the bus. We parked it in front of the Merrill Center. They wouldn't let us in, but we got to take a picture. But uh, these guys want to go in the, the Merrill Center. They want to go play a game. So whether that was a three seed and we got to play an extra game or it was a two seed and we play Friday night, uh, we're just looking forward to getting down there and playing. So I don't think CD matters. Our guys just want to play basketball. Uh, it's March, and, uh, you know, uh, our, our guys are excited. I know they're ready for the opportunity. So, you know, barring any upset that could happen all the way to the semifinals, you get a triple bye. How do you prepare for something like that? You don't know who you're going to play. How do you prepare league? Yeah, we prepare on us. We get better. That's the that's the best thing about uh, not playing on Friday is we got time to spend on us. So uh, we'll get better this week on ACU basketball, you know, and, and what what we do well. And there's no secret to winning in Katie. You got to defend, uh, rebound, and take care of the basketball. And those three things we've done all year. Uh, the extra element that this team has that a lot of teams don't have is love. The, this team is really really close. They built uh, just some high level relationships in that locker room. They care for each other. Uh, they love one another. Um, it, it's just been really fun to to watch this thing evolve over two years. And this year has been really special to see that behind the scenes they're as close as any team we've had uh, so when you carry those four things on the bus to katie you like your chances so we'll spend these next uh three days on uh, defending rebounding and taking care of the basketball and uh if we do those three things well friday night we'll give ourselves a chance to win uh 
talk about senior day. You have yep. five seniors, a couple that have been in the program for a while, a couple for two years now, but a really good, important class with the emotions like that. Yeah, you know, it's it's a weird deal because uh, these guys all have an extra year of eligibility, uh, but we don't want to talk about that right now. We talked about that in the press a couple weeks ago. We'll handle all those conversations after the year. Right now, we want all the focus to just be on this team and uh, winning, but I felt like those guys deserve to be celebrated for what they've done leadership-wise this year um, and, and to celebrate their last game in Teague, you know, and, and uh, the undefeated home season. So, uh, I wanted those guys to be celebrated. They deserve that, that, that uh, opportunity to be celebrated. So, there's always emotions on seniors. You know, the, the you look back on the relationships that, you know, Colton's been five years uh, here in this program and has grown as a man and uh, is now uh, what we feel in our locker room is the best big in the league. Uh, you've got uh, Paul, who's been in here for four years um, and, uh, you know, has, has invested a lot of time into men's basketball. He's been a great teammate to a lot of these guys in the locker room. And uh, he'll leave here one of the all-time winningest basketball players in ACU basketball history. He's had a uh, basically a four-year career of postseason play. He'd take last year out, but we would have played in postseason last year, whether it be the NCAA tournament or some other form or fashion. So, uh, you know, credit to him. And then you have Makai, who faced a ton of adversity uh, last year. He's a kid that uh, has just um, – uh, continued to, to work hard behind the scenes, waited for an opportunity, got an opportunity this year and took full advantage of it. And so those are those are the success stories that you, you like as a coach. You know, when kids get an opportunity, they take full advantage of it. And that kid has. He's had a great senior year. Um, he, he's played really well uh, for us, and we wouldn't be where we were with him. He's kind of the one guy that doesn't get talked about a bunch uh, out, of, out of our team. And he's just had a tremendous year on both sides of the ball uh, for us. Then you got Corian, uh, who obviously didn't play Saturday, but uh, just, uh, uh, you know, he's, he's a two-way player player for us, plays on both sides of the floor. There's not a lot of guys that do that today in college basketball. He guards uh, guards really well in the defensive end. He's one of our better perim uh, perimeter defenders. And then offensively, he can go create plays for us and, and creates open shots for his teammates. Um, and he just knows how to win. He's won everywhere he's been, and he's got a heck of a story um, and, and, and what he's done here. And I know he's hungry to get to Katie, you know, in the opportunity. And then Reggie, we've talked about Reggie for enough. You know, there's Reggie weighs a buck ten uh, when he goes out and gets off the bus. He looks like he's playing for man middle school here, but there ain't a, there ain't a there ain't a uh, there, there's not a team that wants to play against Reggie Miller. You know, Reggie Miller's the heartbeat of our team. He's the soul of our team. He's the coach on the floor. Reggie and I have just built a, a really, really cool relationship the last two years. I trust him uh, with everything um, behind the scenes and with our team. Uh, he's a winner. Um, he's uh, he just wins. I think he said that to you guys. But go back and look at his career. Everywhere he's gone, he's won. Um, and so he's uh, he's definitely the leader of our team. There's no secret in that. Um, and. Uh, he's a direct reflection to me on the floor, and I'm just so proud of what he's done. He's he's always wanted, I think, at the Division One level to have his team and his opportunity, and this is his team. You know, last year was kind of Rick's team, and this year it's been Reggie's team, and it's been really cool to see see what he's done. That's a great answer. I feel bad asking a second question. Yeah, you're good. Senior day, but uh, you said you mentioned Paul's going to be one of the winningest players yeah. in history. From when you were recruiting guys like Colton, you were just making the transition yeah. to Division One to now going to the WAC, a perennial 20-win program. What does this group kind of mean about the legacy and catapulting? It? Yeah, I, I think um, you know when we recruited those guys, it was still a vision. You know, it was part of that Jay Frank, uh, Jaron Farquhar. Jelani Friday, BJ class, they came right after it, Colton and them, and it was it was a, still a vision at that time, and uh, we were selling them on that vision, but there was no, uh, we, we hadn't done anything yet, and now that vision is reality, you know, and I think we've now validated ourselves by three consecutive 20-win seasons. Uh, I think we're one of the best mid-major teams in the country. I don't know where our net is, but when you look at the mid-major polls and all that, it's it's really changed a lot around here, and now we're building a, you know, a brand new facility around here, and, and a, a ton of credit goes to those, those players, you know, it goes back five or six years ago to when this whole thing started and and um, e even even that man it goes back longer than that it probably even goes back to the Parker Wences you know and the Riley Paynes Duran Porters Drake Greens Isaiah Trips those guys built a structure and a foundation for us and then these other guys came in and took it to a level and then obviously you guys were around last year we were very concerned we didn't want to go from to the top back to the bottom that's kind of an ACU's model you know and we wanted to stay in the fight we wanted to continue to compete um, in this league and compete compete for championships and that last year's team was able to do that you know again when 20, 20 wins and getting second place. And then this team uh, might have had as good a year as any in, in AC basketball history, you know, with a limited amount of games with COVID. Uh, to be sitting here uh, 21 and four, uh, it's pretty remarkable. So it's just cool to see those guys' journey. You know, it's cool to see uh, where, where they've all come from and, and uh, where they're at today. And 
and the SFA win, we talked about the uh, UIW win. Someone had a pretty big putback in that game yep. and, and, and whatnot just to get your first ever win there. And, yep. and overcoming yeah, we got we finally got that off our back. You know, it's just kind of we thought we, we, we should have won. Uh, we didn't thought uh, two years ago, you know, we had a seven or eight point lead there with 42 seconds left and blew the thing. And, um, you know, that, that's always stuck with me. It probably always will stick with me as a coach. And uh, but to go in there and that it was their senior night. It was their last game at home. Uh, they were undefeated at home. Um, that, that's one of the hardest places to win in college basketball. They had a ton of emotion. They had a bunch of things going for them. And we're obviously coming off a tough loss. Um, and to, to come in there in, in that in that environment, uh, and, and we were shorthanded, obviously, without Clay still. And, and just to go into that environment, and they jumped us, you know, and they're ahead 15, 16 points at the start. And just to see our teams fight, you know, and grit to get back in that game and, and to find a way to win. Um, that's who that team, this, that's who that's, this, this team's been. A lot of times it hasn't been close games. We've had a lot of games this year that have been out of reach uh, pretty early, uh, but we've had some close games here of late. And, and when we get in those games, our team's just so much toughness and grit and love for each other. That's, as we were talking about earlier, it's, it was fun to watch. It was a win that I won't forget. It was a special win, um, not just because we beat a really, really, really good SFA team on, on their court, just the way we did it, you know. And uh, we did it with toughness. We did it with defense. We did it with rebounding. We did not take care of the ball. Uh, we didn't make a lot of shots. It wasn't pretty, but that's what those games are like. You know, when you get in March and you have two teams, Teams that have played each other. It's the second time. You have two physical teams. You have two defensive teams going at each other. Those games aren't going to be pretty, man. Those games are going to be one on toughness and 50 50 plays. And it really just, uh, you know, um, it's one between the years on a lot of stuff, on some mental stuff. And so uh, I was just proud on that bus of how tough our team is and how far we've come on toughness in this program over the last five or six years.